Hey students, it's Mr. O'Leary, and uh, for today's little uh, video mini lesson, um, I'm going to go over a couple of problems from the statistics packet um, that is currently on Google Classroom. Um, again, if you need a copy, a hard copy of the statistics packet, uh, please contact the Annex main office, and they'll make arrangements uh, to get a packet to you. So for today's mini lesson, I'm going to kind of concentrate on the central tendency uh, lesson. Uh, from Edpuzzle, and we're going to kind of go over uh, finding the mean, median, and mode, um, going over a couple of questions on page 10 and page 11 in the packet. Now, again, just a couple of things in the packet. You'll see some pages that are missing. Uh, you know, those were taken out just to kind of condense the packet for, for you guys. Um, so just kind of follow along. So on page 10, uh, the first question I'm going to go over is question two. So uh, a student received these grades in her math class, 77, 81, 86, 81, 77, 81, 98, 83. Calculate the mean, median, or excuse me, mean, mode, and median, and the range of these grades. So, a couple of things. Just let's go over these definitions really quickly. Uh, the mean is the average. So, we find the average by adding up um, all the numbers and then dividing it by the number of numbers or the number of set of data, or I usually call them elements. The mode is the, the number that comes up the most. So it's the one that is the most frequent. Now, sometimes the mode, sometimes you can have a mode, sometimes, you know, technically all the numbers could be the mode, um, and sometimes you can get a couple of modes. Uh, the median is the middle number. So once we arrange everything in order, uh, that middle number is the median. Now, the range is the difference between the highest grade and the lowest grade. So these are your, you know, so these are what we're trying to find in this problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is rearrange these numbers. So to find the median, we need to find the middle number and we need to put these numbers in order. So I'm going to write these in order. So the first one, 77, 77, there's three 81s. Now, you got to be very careful because a lot of times um, someone, you know, you might miss a number when you're putting these in order. Uh, 83, 86, and 98. So these are your, uh, all those numbers added up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the mean. The mean is the number, is the average. So we're going to add up all these numbers, and when we add it up, it's 664. And we're going to divide it by 8 because there are 8 numbers. So 664 divided by 8 is 83. So that is your mean. Now, the mode, the mode is the number that comes up the most, the most frequent number. So there's two 77s, there's three 84s, and 83, 86, and 98. So 81 is the mode. Now, the median. The median is the middle number. So when we kind of look for that middle number, we kind of like, we kind of go from the outside in. So one, two, three, four. So we actually don't have a single middle number. Uh, usually when there's an even amount of elements, your median is going to be in between two numbers. In this case, it's in between 81 and 81. Uh, so that kind of makes it e easy to figure out that the median is 81. But if there are two different numbers, what you do is you add the two together. In this case, 81 plus 81 is 162, and we divide it by 2. So that is 81, and that is your median. Now, the last is your range. Your range is the difference between the highest number and the lowest number. So the range is 98 minus 77, and 98 minus 77 is 21. So 21 is the range. Okay. Now, the next question I want to go over is question four. Uh, you'll see these questions kind of pop up. Um, it's a comparison question. So, for this set of data, which statement is true? Mean equal the mode, median equal the mode, mean equal the medium, or the mean is less than the medium. So, essentially what we need to do is we need to figure out what the mean, median, and mode are. Now, this is easy because all my numbers are listed in order. So the mean is all the numbers added up. 
So the numbers added up is 30, and we divide by the number of elements, which is 5. So 30 divided by 5 is 6. So that's your mean. The mode is the number that pops up the most often. And in this case, there's two fives and two sevens. So uh, five and seven are your modes. And again, mode is really not a really good way to represent central tendency because mode um, has multiple answers. And it's just, it's not really used a, a lot in cases of statistics. Um, now the last is the median. And in this case, this is easy because, right, we got five numbers, so one, two, and look at, boom, there it is. Six is the median. So that's your middle number. So does the mean equal the mode? Nope. We got two modes, doesn't work. Also, the median does not equal the mode. So the mean equal the median. So does six equal six? Absolutely. So that is your correct answer. And the last one, six is not less than six. So there you go. Okay, one more question, and that is question eight on page 11. So, Tony received grades of 67, 81, 94, 85 on four tests. What grade must he receive on his fifth test to make his average an 80? So, this is actually a very good question. This is something that you guys probably, you know, think about when you look at your grades and, and wondering what you need to get on your next test or quiz to bump it up. So this is kind of a blend between a statistics problem and an algebra problem. Now, kind of review, we know that the mean is equal to the, uh, the sum of the elements. Sorry, that's a U, not a O, sum of the elements divided by the number of elements okay so what's my mean the mean that we're looking for is 80 so 80 equals the sum of the elements well what elements do we have right now 67 80 94 and 85 so if I add up those four numbers um, I'm going to get 326 but there's a fifth test so there's a fifth grade so we're going to add another grade we don't know what that grade is yet we're trying to figure that out so that is going to be my x so this 326 is these four numbers added up plus x which is that fifth test so that fifth test that is your x right there and we're going to divide it by the number of elements in this case there are five elements. We already know what the four test scores are, but we were trying to figure out what that fifth test. So there are five right there. Now, this is where it becomes kind of an algebra problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides by five to get rid of this five in the denominator. So we cancel out the fives. So five times 800 is 400. So 326 plus X is equal to 400. So minus 326 from both sides. So 400 minus 326 is 74. And that's the test score that you need. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. So we're going to be doing uh, more of these types of mini lessons. Um, what I'm going to be doing for right now is I'm going to post them on Google Classroom, not on Edpuzzle. So that way you can uh, kind of look at it and scan it through. I, I am going to also kind of look at posting these videos on YouTube. So I'm going to create a channel on YouTube and I can share that as well. And the reason why I'm doing this on Google Classroom and trying to use YouTube is because I know some of you guys, um, you know, have some issues with Edpuzzle. Um, if you're watching these videos on a mobile device, um, Edpuzzle doesn't really work very well on iPhones and iPads. So I'm going to post these on YouTube. And what I would like you guys to do is once you watch these videos, uh, just click that you completed it on Google Classroom. That way I know that you watched it. Um, again, I'm not putting any restrictions on this. You know, you can skip ahead if you want, if you, you feel like you understand these. But um, please make sure that you click complete. That way I know that you're watching these videos and that you're understanding it. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to make any comments on Google Classroom. Or if you want, send me a message on Instagram and I can definitely get back to you as soon as possible. 
Uh, some of you already know that I'm kind of already video chatting some of you guys if you have any questions. That way, um, sometimes it's a lot better to, for me to explain uh, some of these questions or some of these answers to you. So I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I know it's, it, this is a very difficult time. So, you know, stay positive. Uh, help out your parents as much as you can. Um, and uh, again, if there's anything that you need, please let me know. Thank you and take care.